we're friends. The why we're friends. Okay. Dun, 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 Does this dun, 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 say the chapter? Should I say the chapter? Dun, 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 okay. What chapter is this? Five. Okay. Chapter five. Wait. What? Never mind. Chapter five. Maximize that. Fuck. This? Yeah, so we can read it. Easier. Let's scroll up. Alright. Alright, let's try this again. Let me pull this one closer to me so it's up more in the middle. Okay. Chapter 5. Broly and Vilten continued traveling to back to Krillin and Bulma. Meanwhile, Vilten was acting very strange. First thing she did was she dropped the Drogan ball on the floor. Then she picked. <laughs> then she picked over to pick it up to show her panties. But Broly did not notice, so she frowning and contined with him. The next thing next was to sulk very close to him and hold on to his arm, resting her chest on his chest, on he resting her head on his arm. <laughs> but that just made him hot, so he's sweaty and tell her to go away. Then say funny things. Broly, me wet! She said. Me too, because sweat you made out get off. Built him frowning. Then, while they were walking, suddenly they came across Vilten's house. Vilten got a bright smiley on her face. Oh, simile. A bright simile on her face. Broly! She said in a very sex speech. There's my house! Let's go get some water so we could calm Falg! <laughs> no, not Vilten. Broly replied. Because I am not tired and we need to meet up with the others so we can mack our wish, says. She frowning. <laughs> She said as she tightened the grip on her pale white skin on his arm harder. I want to show you my room! Broly got confused. But Vilten, he said, I've already seen your room. It's true. While I wasn't writing my story, Broly and Vilten had a pillow fight in her room. They best friends. But Broly! Broly. Broly! She said. I re- I redecorated it! Can we please? Broly remembered Vilten saying, some th some to jing about our mom writing a new wallpaper and fixing a door and bed and Okay, Vilten. Broly said as they walked towards it. Broly began to jeel sick. He kinda liked Vilten and he wanted to be with her and spend time with her, but he didn't want to be alone with her because the because the though of that mean that me he thought they would sex. Vilten! Broly said as he gripped his stomach. I am sick, I cannot do it! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Vilten said with air, big, sexy red eyes. I need to show you my new bed spot! <laughs> 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 got sad. I'm sorry, Vilten. He said. I just have to see it another time. Vilten crossed her arms and got pout. She unbuckled her seatbelt and scotted over to the door as close as she could away from Broly. I hate Broly! She thought. Broly noticed her pout and he looked at her with his eyes in concern. Vilten, are you okay? He said. She did not answer. She looked out the window and pout. I'm sorry, Vilten. He said. She didn't want his apology. Broly and Vilten arrived at the Krillin and Bluma and then they made their wish. The Gadragon came and he was very bright. I am the magic dragon of the world. <laughs> he said. Mac your wishes. You have two. Bertoli smiled and said. I'm sorry, Bula, Pan, Videl, but I have to do this for our own good. I wish I never loved any. He said and the dragon began to scream. Broly turned white and then he flew up. <laughs> <laughs> when he when he came back to life, then he was on to do, and he was passed out. The dragon had done it. He was saved. Okay, now for your other two wish. He said as he pointed at them. <laughs> Wait, two? What else should we wish for, Bula? Trunks asked as he rushed to Broly's side to aid him. Suddenly, Vilten came up out of nowhere. I wish that I was immortal. Immortal. She said. She said. Okay. Said the right the raging, and then she was immortal. Oh no, it's Vilten! Trunks said. And she's now immortal! Broly, how could you? You let her! Broly was siddle on the ground. Vilten's immense power made there be a sand story, and her black mini sailor skirt began blowing in the wind as she cockled evilly. Vilten, how did you still alive? Trunks asked. Brokey stabbed you when you were a Babar! <laughs> you should be dead! <laughs> Smells like Babar. Silly purple boy! She said evilly as she smacked him. I made the wish that I was immortal in the past, so when I was born in the present, I was already immortal! Now I'm going back to the present!
sent to destroy everything! But first, I will destroy you! Viltim was about to toil them all, but then Broly woke up. <laughs> toil? What am I supposed to say? I don't know. <laughs> he looked around and noticed that her, so he needed to stop her. Suddenly, he saw buried in the sand. It was the key that Golan had gave him! That's it! He scrammed as he grabbed it. He turned Super Saiyan and ran Ruggeth into Vilton, stabbing it onto her heart. Suddenly, the clouds went black. Vilton grabbed her chest and fell down on her knees. She was about to fall in her black, but Broly kissed her very tomanric. Broly, she said as she caressed his face. I am sorry. I wanted to be good, but I couldn't. And you were mean to me! She coughed up blood and she cried in blood. She was blood everywhere from her chest eyes mouth. I am sorry, Vilten. This isn't... Oh, shit. I am sorry, Vilten, Broly said. This isn't how I wanted our friendship to end. Don't sorry, Broly, she said. We'll be friends again soon. I know it. She closed her eyes and never opened them again. Vilten had finally passed on to the other side. Broly gently put her body on the ground and wiped the tears from his face. He observed the carnage that she had created and got back into the time chamber with Bronx and headed home. Thank you, Vilten. He said as he stepped back out into the future. What the fuck? Ow, my head.